The Cock and the Jewel, here on Chew English. Welcome to another lesson in Chew English, where we chew English one bite at a time. Now, Aesop was a slave and a famous storyteller in ancient Greece. And his stories were so famous that they are still alive today in every classroom around the world. They influence what we call Western culture, the stories and the values that are instilled inside these fables. Let's take a look at the fable for today. The Cock and the Jewel A cock was scratching for food for himself and his hens when he came upon a priceless jewel and exclaimed, If my owner, the farmer, had found you, he would have rejoiced as he picked you up and set you in his first estate. But I am the one that has found you, so I will bury you as I continue to scratch. I have no use for you. I would rather have a single grain of barley than all the jewels in the world. Now the moral of the story is that the simple see no use in precious things. I really enjoy these sessions, especially when I find new stories from Aesop's fables that I don't remember or I don't quite recall very well. Now I've adapted some of these stories from the archaic language into a, an English language that is easier to understand. Nevertheless, you can find Aesop's fables in, in a link to, I'm sorry, a link to Aesop's fables in the description below, where you can read the original language. I encourage you to invite others to come to Chew English so they can learn English one bite at a time with these short stories from Aesop's Fables. You can replay these lessons as often as you need until you feel confident with your pronunciation. Don't worry about grammar and don't worry about uh, your accent. Please, we're only concerned with vocabulary and pronunciation, being able to increase your vocabulary and being able to increase the, f the fluency and the fluidity of your pronunciation. In fact, accents are very beautiful. There is nothing more beautiful than when I see someone, com someone coming up in front of a group and telling a story or sharing some information in English using their own accent. Use your accent to your advantage there is, is a great impact when you have an accent and you're fluent in the English language. I really enjoy my time here and the five minutes that I share here at Chew English uh, because especially during these times during the pandemic, uh, schools are closed and uh, there's social distancing. So I find myself at a loss and not being able to share uh, uh, information and knowledge with students uh, in a classroom. So I use these sessions in order to keep in touch with, with my learners of English and give them an opportunity to continue practicing their English. So I encourage you to invite some of your friends. If you're an English teacher and you'd like to uh, increase your fluency, because for example, here in Puerto Rico, Many Spanish-speaking teachers are teaching lessons of English in Spanish because they are not quite fluent, and they themselves would like to become more fluent in the English language, it's spoken English. They are great with grammar, and they are wonderful with, with, uh, with uh, language theory, but when it comes time to speak, many teachers here uh, have some challenges speaking English, and that's true around the world. So if you're a teacher and you would like to increase your English proficiency, I invite you to come and rehearse some of these and memorize some of these stories from Aesop's fables. If you're a student of the English language, you can come to Chew English and also practice some of these stories. And if you form a little group, you can practice with each other. Memorize these stories. Replay these lessons as often as you need to in, in the session of the story. They're very short, very brief, easy to memorize, easy to understand, and easy to tell. And you'll find you'll have a great time at your nearest cafe, 
with a group of friends sharing these stories with each other. Aesop has hundreds of stories, so I am, I'm sure nobody's going to get tired of learning these stories. So that's about all the time that we have. I try to keep these, le these sessions at about five minutes or less, as much as I can, and so that you can tune in to other stories. I hope to see you next time, and until then, it's bye-bye for now.